What's up guys, I'm going to do another Call of Duty Advanced Warfare video, and today I'm going to be going into Master Prestige 3, going over all my stats. Uh, if you look in the bottom left hand corner, you can see that my NAT type is strict. For whatever reason, on the Xbox One, my NAT type is like almost always strict, and it sucks even though I am hardwired into my modem. And I've looked it up and a lot of people say that if you have your Xbox like setting is like a instant on then you know it'll make it strict or something like that so I have to like hard uh, like what do you call that um, I have to like power cycle my console for a little bit and then it'll go up to like moderate sometimes even open but yeah so um, I know this is taking me a long time you know it, here it is like April 17th or no it's like 20th or something like that um, and you know I barely have hit third but this game is isn't really fun for me right now like I've been playing other games uh, I've been playing Halo Master Chief Collection just playing this game single player but multiplayer just isn't super fun because one on the Xbox one there are so many more quote unquote tryhards I get I shouldn't really call them that because I feel that my stats, you know, I'm technically a tryhard, but like, it's just uh, so, like I got the Xbox One like a little less than a month ago and my aim on here isn't very good but because of this game's skill-based matchmaking it puts me up against people who are really good and who have mastered, you know, the aim on this so, you know, my it, it just, I, uh, I I don't really like it, plus like literally every single lobby I get into everybody uses the BAL or the ASM one like I was trying to I got the SM6 the third um, like a week ago or something like that so I've been trying to use this but every single lobby I get into is just like ASM one or BALs so I can't even like barely get any kills and plus I'm like lagging which I don't know why because I'm on the only one on the internet and um, uh, I'm hardwired into my modem and everything like that, which is, it makes no sense. But, yeah, so classes, uh, Obsidian Steed, Speakeasy, Average Joe, uh, Poner. I got this a couple procedures ago, I didn't really use it. I was thinking about using it in Hardcore, because I need long shots, and then with no perks, and then I'll have it diamond, like legit diamond. Then I have the Goliath, use this a bit um, yeah so I need headshots and dogfights and then these two uh, the ohm didn't really use this all that much subverter you know here's this one this one was just basically oops for blind eye um, cause if I go into like domination or uh, hard point pretty much everybody is like spamming warbirds or remote turrets or just you know all their freaking streaks and so you pretty much have to play with blind eye in those game modes since you get your streaks super quick. Um, this one was basically for hard point and momentum, just because there's tons of nades galore. So I had trophy and flak jacket, SN6 and third. Um, continue. All right. For this one, just working on some challenges for this. Kills no perks. Um, I got the bloodthirsties because. I don't know if this is intentional or not. I'm 99% sure it's a glitch, but uh, if you get four kills with, say, in this case, the BAL 27, and then you get the fifth kill with the uh, MDL, it'll count as a bloodthirsty for the MDL. So I had to do that five times, got that easy, uh, double kill, and then you know that, and. Yeah, then I should have that, and then I'll be halfway to my royalties for that, and then I'll just have like the crossbow or something. This one was the overkill challenge, uh, plus the no perks for both of these. Um, no perks for this one. I was trying to use this a little while ago, but it's so freaking hard because one, I don't have any perks, so you know I show up on the minimap every freaking point two seconds. I don't have toughness, so it's hard to win gunfights because my gun's kicking all over the place and I'm flinching all over the place. And I don't have blast suppressor, which the maps are made to use the exosuit. And you know, if I'm using my exosuit, everyone's gonna know exactly where I am. 
and yeah so then just some other stuff s12 use this a, quite a bit it's a really good gun now um, yeah I got the slide kills because that's a glitch right now hip fire kills yeah I also got the thunder tusk I really like this it pretty much has like no recoil but it, it's so inconsistent like the very first time I used it I went on like a 20 gun streak with it and just like absolutely destroyed everyone I would like one burst people but then other times I'm over here putting like three bursts into people and then I just get like one shot it from the battle 27 uh, ARX I don't have a really good variant of it like I guess you know that's a good variant but like I really want the hole puncher or the steel bite I know my brother has a hole puncher and I didn't know about this like he's only played the game for like a day and he has a hole puncher and it's like one of the best guns in the game I used it on his account and like you could literally just like one burst people from across the map uh, the moors I was going for no attachment challenges and yeah and then just a bunch of other things I was going to use this for uh, slide kills because they're probably gonna patch this soon so I wanted to get all the slide kills done for like all the guns that require them before they patch it because slide kills are so annoying and glitched and bugged and it just sucks but yeah so those are all my classes operator uh, my supply drop challenge hasn't reset but it I'm pretty sure it will once I prestige so yeah that would be kinda cool um, yeah so yeah combat record uh, 40,000 kills um, you know you can see all the rest of that 1.59 KD 1.96 win loss 512 score per minute game modes hardpoint is obviously the most played TDM hmm. I don't really remember playing this must have been like one shot because I don't remember it really ever going into specifically TDM and playing it all that much I think I played it like a couple times uh, kill confirm Dom Dang, my win losses on these are pretty good momentum uplink infected you know all the rest of these weapons 12,000 kills to the bow it is still like one of the greatest guns in the game like even they change like the three shot kill range to increase the recoil but the obsidian steed gets rid of that like whole three shot kill range nerf and the recoil you can just put on a foregrip which pretty much everybody had on before so you know it's still like the greatest gun in the game asm1 still a really good gun uh, i don't really use it all that much i used to use the speakeasy a ton i barely use it like at all now um, just because that like uh, increase in fire rate on the first couple shots uh, pre-patch was really nice and I was able to destroy people but now it's just like eh it's kinda mediocre um, the Lynx is the only gun I haven't gotten a kill with at this point which is kinda cool um, yeah so just all the rest of these only really use uh, stun grenades sometimes I use frags you know, UAV 3430, remote turret, system hack, you know, all the rest of these. There was a Goliath glitch, but I didn't want to do anything like that. It would have helped me out with my Goliath challenges, but I didn't want to be that guy who, you know, would just run around the glitch in the Goliath because it was super overpowered and just scummy thing to do. Didn't get any vicious, viciouses or unstoppables or anything like that. I haven't really gone for any of those. And then all the rest of these, anti-score streaks, game modes, 7,679 hardpoint secured, killed 8,891 defenders, have not played rank play, leaderboards, um, once again, this is just for the Xbox One, well, except for career, career is for both the 360 and the Xbox One, I think I'm in like 7,000 in on career for the Xbox 360 but I'm 12,000 for the Xbox one but stuff like TDM that doesn't transfer between consoles only career does free-for-all so I'll show you guys in a little bit my Xbox 360 ones but yeah so I played a little bit of CTF uplink 
Momentum. Had not played the search. Dom. Hard point. Infected. And then gun game. So for the my leaderboards for the Xbox 360, I am 9,018 in the world. And you can see all my stuff there. Average score 3,774. Games played 1,558. TDM. Free for all. R Dom five hundred and sixty five in hard point. I've dropped quite a bit. Infected, I haven't played for a while. And then gun game have not played uh, ever since they added the leaderboards. So there you go. Those are my leaderboards for the Xbox three sixty. So yeah. Uh, yeah, so you guys can see all the rest of that. Uh, I kind of want to start to like take off the gloves and the um, shirt because the purple kind of stands out a little bit more on the Xbox One. And I just want to kind of make my guy all black so it's easier to blend in with stuff. So I might take that off, but then again, I like having my character have a little bit of color to him with the purple. I really like that. So let's go ahead and prestige. So more info, just permanent unlock. I think that I will do SN6. And I'll get a sniper this time. I believe it's the silver bullet. Yep. Alright. Sweet. This will be one of my first snipers. So, yeah, I have three obsidian steeds. Uh, it'll, it's definitely my first Moors Elite. Uh, where's all? Oh, here's all my snipers. I have both the NA45s. I have one of the Atlas, and then the Silver Bullet. So I think I might give that going a little bit, but yeah. So. Let's open this up. Elite. Okay, well, that's not the greatest, but I'll take it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much everything. So, thank you guys for watching. Um, yeah. So, thank you guys for watching. Tell me what procedure and everything you guys are on in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.